two black queens. He bought in for 100K. He's up over 200,000. Eric's got ace 10. Ben with ace five suited. Just calls. Four way action. 21,800 in the pot. Ace, 10, eight. Top two for Eric. Top pair for Ben. A gut shot for Kennedy. But as we can see, two of the queens are occupied. Pretty ambitious for Batman to bet here. But he does. Eric calls. Well, Queens is a really good hand pre-flop. You know what I'm saying, Jonathan? It's the it's third best hand in poker. Pre-flop. Yeah. Uh, but when we get called in three spots... And then this is the flop. I'm not so sure we should be betting. We have a game on our podcast that we call Defend the Play. Yeah. Where Jonathan gets to play. Defend the bet with Queens on the flop <laughs> by Mr. Dr. Batman <laughs> oh, here. It's so hard to, but I'll try. Um, oh, God. Well, if no one has an ace and no one has hearts and no one has a straight draw, we're probably just going to take it down right now. But we'll already have the best hand, of course. That so is it's not, uh, it's not super great. That's not a great defense. No, I did a bad job. Let me try one more time. It's very strong to bet into three players. So, and we're the only, we, we can have the nuts and no one else can. Okay. So th that's two things that's really good. So if we're trying to begin to tell a story, I don't know why we would want to do this, but we're trying to begin to tell a story. So that way, if we get called, we can continue on flops or turns and rivers, right? Um, by betting now, we get the ability to do that. So that's something. Yeah, that's but there's, what I got. there's a reason that you're supposed to mix betting and checking on different flops and like have ranges and stuff. And why? What? What reason? You know, so you don't lose. This is lighting money on fire. Yes, this bet is lighting money on fire. No question. Into three opponents. Like this is hard draws, straight draws. All of these things are either going to call or raise you along with hands that have you beat, like Eric Persons and Ben's, by the way, who ends up folding. Mm. Um, this is a nightmare bet. It's <laughs> it's not doing anybody any good except yeah. for Eric Person. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Defending this play is really unfair to me. Okay. I feel like I feel like Clint Eastwood in in the line of fire. All right. Let's here. take you off of the firing line. Oh, thank God. And uh, and talk about Eric Person's decision here because okay. he's he clearly could have have two thoughts here. One is to call what you did and to raise. What's your preference? Normally, my preference would be to raise here. Uh, it's a wet board. We're four handed. We can push out a lot of the draws. And when Mr. Dr. Batman bets this, he's supposed to have a hand like Ace King at least, right? Yeah, but we know Mr. Dr. Batman. Yeah. We saw him earlier in the session call 50K out of an 84K stack after a four bet preflop with 8 9 suited. Yeah, so he put in 50K with 8 9 suited and had 34 back to see the flop with. He ended up winning that hand. Good for him. But that says a lot about his interest in putting money in the pot, as does this. Flop bet, by the way. Yes, it us. does. Although Eric Person can't know that. So we assume he does know this about Mr. Dr. Batman that sort of he's just going to keep shoveling money in the pot. So if we know that, maybe we don't have to have that first plan of raising. Maybe instead, Grant, we could decide we're going to call. We're going to see what the other players do. If someone wants to get cute with the raise because they've got a flush draw and want to try and take it down, we've got a little surprise for them. We can lower the hammer then. If not, if someone decides to call and we see a brick turn, we can raise the turn so we don't just give them a cheap river. Yeah, um, We're in position. I think if Mr. Dr. Batman's going to keep shoveling money, let's let him do it. Yeah, I agree. And this, the size of Mr. Batman's bet is big enough that we're going to deny a lot of equity without having to raise anyway. Like the, A lot of hands are going to fold that wouldn't have folded for 8K behind us. So we don't have to worry about you know gut shots and stuff coming along as often. I mean, I would expect the King Jack in this in the straddle would have called. I'm right. really surprised it doesn't close in the action, but okay, even better for yeah. us, right? Yeah. So cool. It works out for Eric. Both of both of the opponents fold besides, you know, his target. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes is what you're gonna say when you get your free roll bets on Nitro betting. Why not see how it goes when it's free and you can win actual money? You know what I'm talking about, Jonathan? It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's everything everybody wants but often can't get. You can get it here and now. It's like Nitrogen. that movie, What Dreams May Come, with Robin Williams. Yes. It's about heaven and stuff. Nitro betting. It's the place to be. Use the link in our pin tweet when you sign up or you don't get access to all the cool stuff. Eric now the full house.
That's a really, really good fold by Ben. I mean, the guy is on mega tilt, right? And he just folds ace five like it's nothing. I don't know what that man's doing here. I'm not gonna lie. He raised, he got called in three spots. Then he bets the next player to act calls him. And I, I, I just don't know what story he's trying to tell here. Like, what does he think his opponent has? Eric's just going to call here. Batman not drawing dead, by the way. There's one queen live. Queen on the river, and he wins a monster pot. This pot's got 152,000 in it. That is not a queen. Seven of hearts. And now Batman slows down. I mean... One thirty. Eric goes one thirty into one fifty. There should be an insta fold. I don't know what you're beating. Jack nine got there. A Ten was already there. Hearts got there, obviously. Something tells me he wants to call. And no, I don't know. I'm just... It's just all in. Yeah, all wow! In. All. all in and a call. Give it. Here you go. Here's another tilt card. I'll take it all. Thank you, sir. So good to play with you. I'm just needling. Isn't that fun? Isn't that the point to needle? You're not wrong. I mean, that's what he wants to do, right? He wants to needle. I didn't bring this to the game. He did. But now all his chips are mine. Right at the end of the fucking stream. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. Mr. Batman. Good sportsmanship, bro. Good sportsmanship. Oh, I don't have good sportsmanship. Uh, I'm here for all of you. Fucking apparent, actually. You think needling people is good sportsmanship when you fucking get stacked with double aces? You think that's good sportsmanship? That's what you believe? You think that's all in fun? This is real money. You don't say. Yeah. It's real money. It's real money. Like, and you, you think can, it's you fun. You can turn this into dollars. And you think it's fun. You took the time to figure out how to fuck with people when they lose, right? <laughs> They're coming from you? I'm just saying. Really, you're going to I'm down with fucking with me. people. I'm not chastising. I'm down with right. it. Huh. I'm down with the I'm business. Back in for 200. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking there. Yeah, we let that roll for a little bit after the hand was over because that is fine entertainment, is it not? That Amazing. is just some fine entertainment from Eric Person. I would like to watch more Eric Person <laughs> content. <laughs> There's a lot of it out there now. Yeah, but I want I just I'm more I'm more interested in consuming it after that hand. Yeah, fair enough. After after the way he reacts after winning that hand, oh, it's amazing. It's so, so much vitriol. He's he he really doesn't like those cards in the way that Mr. Batman's been handing them out to people. He really doesn't like that. But let's talk about the play. Okay. Because that's what we're here for. We're the poker guys. We're not the trash talk guys. We're we're that's Eric Person. We're not in his yeah. class. No. In, in in that case, not not even close. So let's talk about poker. On the turn. Things get a little better for Mr. Batman from an anal analysis perspective, uh, not from a poker perspective. It's no. going horribly, horribly <laughs> wrong when the 10 pairs. Yeah, that's a really good card for Eric Person. We hated the bet on the flop. Hated it. But we can at least defend the bet on the turn a little bit. Yeah. Right. Eric's got a lot of aces that really don't like this bet. They're going to have to fold for 50K here. I think that's probably true. Like Eric probably has to fold most of his flush draws except the combo draws. Yeah. Uh, he might even decide to fold those because the board is paired, but knowing Eric Person, probably not. We we see that he's very sticky from past hands, so I wouldn't expect we're going to fold out a combo draw. But um, but we bet really big, so yeah, like most aces have to fold, most flush draws have to fold. You might even think as Mister Doctor Batman, what tens does Eric have? I bet fifteen k. There were two guys behind him. He may fold a ten. Yeah, but he he. Wouldn't. We know that Eric probably didn't fold a ten, yeah. but Mister Doctor Batman may not know that and think. 
the only thing that's going to be able to call me is trip tens. And even that is unlikely to be here. Yeah. So fair, but you have to realize you're playing against Eric person. Maybe yeah. some of those hands that I mentioned earlier won't even, maybe ace do suit is not going to fold because exactly. it's Eric person. He doesn't Ex like folding when he has a hand. Yes. We've seen it. We've done a previous hands with Eric person where he called and spots were like, how can he call? But he called with like an over pair when all the action was crazy and he turned out to be right. And, but even he thought he had lost, but yeah. he called anyway. So that feels important to know. And Mr. Dr. Batman should know that about Eric person. Right. Along with that, you're not doing a great job representing a big hand. No. You're repping what aces full and a 10 yourself. Quad tens a you, little bit. You bet, I mean, on, you bet into, into three opponents on the flop with a 10. I don't, I don't think so that often. I mean, maybe he would, he, he has Queens. Maybe he would. Maybe. Um, it's, it's not a great story and we're choosing the wrong target. Those are the problems. But if we remove Eric person from the situation and just look at an avatar on a screen that we're playing against, I think you can accomplish a lot with this yeah. bet once we're here and it's not that bad. I agree, and it's possible even against Eric, this might be a profitable bet. Like, Eric may fold a bunch of aces and may fold his hearts here. Yeah. And if he does, that's probably enough, most of his aces even, that's probably enough to make this profitable. So it's at least okay. I don't know if he needs to go full pot, by the way. Right. But whatever. It, it's not – this is not the worst thing he does in the hand. I think we can all agree on that. I think the flop bet actually is the worst thing he does in the hand. Probably, but let's talk about that river, my let's friend. Let's talk. And you know what? This river thing is actually not that bad if it's not Eric Person. But here's the problem. It's, it's Eric Person. Is that Eric Person there or what? Is it, that looks like Eric Person. <laughs> so it can't be good. But let's talk about why it's why it wouldn't necessarily be bad against certain other players. Let's, let's say it's like a really high-level analytical player like, like Ike, Ike Haxton. Not sure. to take anything away from Eric Person. I'm just saying he's not interested in folding good hands. I mean, I don't. if Eric Person thinks he's at Ike Haxton's level, that's too bad. Yeah. He's not. That's, right. So, that's so let's say Ike had the king jack of hearts and played it this way up until this point. Right. Right. And now he bets the river. He's like, oh, sweet. I'm, I made my hand. Let's try, let's go for some value. Getting check raised even for this small amount all in is like, oh, shit. This is not good for my flush. I like, mean, I am always beat. Right. I, he has no fold equity. And he's doing this anyway. I'm right. always beat. He has to have aces. Right. Or yeah. quad tens. Like, right. What else could he ever have here that he would make this play? Yeah. That's that's what you would say to yourself. Yeah. Right? Um, I, I think I think a lot of like good, careful, analytical players would say that exact thing and might find a fold with a flush here. Here's the, here's a problem even against those players for, for Mr. Batman is that he doesn't have an ace in his hand. Like yeah. you, if you have, let's say you have ace king and for some reason you decided to bet the turn. When your opponent bets this amount on the river, you're usually not good with ace king when, right. when the heart oh, comes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to at least block full houses to make this play, right? Because you're not targeting full houses to fold. You're targeting flushes and trips and I mean, stuff like that. The only ace that matters, though, would be an ace. If we have an ace, we block ace 10. That's the only exactly. way it matters. Exactly. Yeah. Would you not like that? Oh, I would love that. Yeah. No, I would 100% love that's that. That's all I'm saying. Big time. Yeah. Huge time. No, that's true. We'd, we'd love to block ace 10 a little bit. Like, we, we unblock hearts. I guess that's good if, that's we're tar if we're targeting hearts. But let's let's boil that down to what it is. Yeah. We're targeting a flush against a rich guy who hates folding. <laughs> that's the problem. It's not Ike fucking Haxton. Yeah. It's Eric Person. And he does not like folding good hands. I'm not sure if he's folding any flush. Is it possible that Mr. Dr. Batman thinks flushes are out here and maybe I can get them to fold, but also trip tens are out here and maybe I can get them to fold, but doesn't think Eric has almost any uh, full houses. He might think that, but I think the, and I think I can get them to fold part is yeah. just wrong. Right. Like, That's the thing. You have to know who you're up against. I know it's sometimes people make plays just blind to their opponents and you can be a profitable poker player doing that, but you will be much more profitable if you are being very villain specific as much as possible, right? The more exploitative you can play coming from a, a GTO and balanced place. Anyway, I think the better you're going to do. Right. So I think you can look at the turn and river and say, this was an interesting line from Mr. Dr. Batman against a player who might actually fold against this line with a strong hand, but against Eric person it's just lighting money on fire. Yeah. I think it's also important to say this. It's an unnecessary line. Yes. None of this needed to happen. He should have check folded the fucking flop. Right. Uh, yeah. Like this just there's five thousand dollars should have been gone, not three hundred and ten. Right. And there's there was just no reason to do all of this. You have to have a real. I, I think the stream is coming to an end. This was like Eric mentions. Yeah. That like the stream's almost over. You aren't going to get it back. Like I think part of it is maybe he was trying to make a flashy play or win a big pot at the end because they were running out of time or something. I don't know. But like, well, he made a flashy play. I'll give him that. Yeah. He made a flashy play. Someone won a big pot. Someone won a really big pot. And a lot happened in this hand. Do you guys, I mean, so we, we think it's at least a little bit defensible, the, the turn and river plays. A little bit. 
although ultimately completely unnecessary. None of this should happen. What do you guys think? Do you agree with us? Do you think that maybe Mr. Dr. Batman, there's more genius in there than we're seeing? Do you think Eric made some mistakes along the way as well? Let us know in the comments. We always want to hear what you have to say. And you know what? Tell us about other favorite trash talk hands that you've seen yeah. because that's fun, right? The love, trash talk is that. a lot of fun. Absolutely. Anyway, join our Discord, all that stuff too. We'll see you there. <laughs>